Today, we're diving under the hood, literally, to talk about something that most car owners rarely think about until it becomes a problem, the timing system. If you've ever had a mechanic mention your timing belt or timing chain and wondered what that means, you're not alone. These two components do the same basic job, keeping your engine's internal parts moving in perfect harmony, but they're built differently, last for different amounts of time, and can cost very different amounts to repair or replace. By the end of this video, you'll know the differences, the pros and cons of each, and which one might be better for you depending on your car and driving habits. So, let's break it all down, right here, on History of Simple Things. Think of your engine like an orchestra. The pistons, valves, and crankshaft are like different sections of musicians, and the timing system is the conductor keeping everyone in sync. The timing belt or chain connects the crankshaft, which moves the pistons, to the camshaft, which controls the opening and closing of the valves. If these parts fall out of sync by even a fraction of a second, the pistons can smash into the valves, causing catastrophic engine damage. This is why timing components are so critical and why manufacturers put a lot of thought into whether to use a belt or a chain in a particular engine design. A timing belt is made of reinforced rubber, often with fiberglass or Kevlar strands inside to add strength. It's lighter, quieter, and generally cheaper to manufacture than a chain. Timing belts became very popular in the 1970s and 1980s because they reduced engine noise and allowed for simpler designs. However, because they're made of rubber, they wear out over time. Most timing belts need to be replaced somewhere between 60,000 and 100,000 kilometers, or around 40,000 to 60,000 miles, depending on the manufacturer's recommendation. The upside is that belts are relatively inexpensive parts. The downside is that replacing them often requires taking apart a significant portion of the engine, so labor costs can be high. A timing chain, on the other hand, is made of metal, very similar to a bicycle chain, but stronger and designed to handle the stresses of a car engine. Chains were common in older cars, fell out of favor for a while, and then made a big comeback in the 2000s as manufacturers started building engines meant to last longer. Chains are far more durable than belts and are usually designed to last the life of the engine, often well over 300,000 kilometers or about 200,000 miles. However, they're heavier, slightly noisier, and if they do need to be replaced, the repair can be just as costly as a timing belt job, sometimes even more. Timing belts have a few key advantages. They run more quietly than chains, require no lubrication, and can allow engineers to design lighter, more compact engines. That can lead to slightly better fuel efficiency in some cases. The biggest drawback, of course, is the maintenance schedule. If you ignore a worn timing belt and it breaks while driving, your engine could suffer serious internal damage, especially if it's what's called an interference engine, where the pistons and valves occupy the same space at different times. Replacing a timing belt on schedule is not optional. It's a must. For some people, the predictability of knowing it will need replacing every certain number of years or kilometers is actually a benefit. There's no guessing, just a set maintenance interval. Timing chains are often marketed as maintenance-free, and for many drivers, that's true. They can last the entire life of the car without replacement. This can save thousands of dollars in maintenance over time. They're also stronger and more resistant to extreme temperatures. However, they're not invincible. 
poor oil maintenance, like skipping oil changes, can cause the chain and its tensioners to wear prematurely, leading to rattling noises and eventually failure. When a chain does need replacement, the process can be complicated and very expensive, since it's often buried deep inside the engine. So while they're generally more durable, they're also more unforgiving if neglected. From a cost perspective, timing belts are cheaper as a part, sometimes just a fraction of the price of a chain, but they need to be replaced more often. Factoring in labor, a timing belt replacement might cost anywhere from $500 to $1,000, depending on the car. A timing chain replacement, if needed, can easily run $1,500 to $3,000 or more. That's why for chains, prevention is everything. Regular oil changes and good maintenance habits can keep you from ever facing that bill. So, which is better? It's not a one-size-fits-all answer. If you want a low-maintenance engine and plan to keep your car for a long time, a timing chain is often the better choice, as long as you're diligent about oil changes. If you value a quieter ride, don't mind scheduled maintenance, and want slightly lower upfront repair costs, a timing belt can make sense. Some high-performance and diesel engines still use belts because they can be designed for very precise timing with less vibration. On the flip side, many modern cars have gone back to chains for their longevity and lower lifetime maintenance. If you're shopping for a used car, knowing whether it has a belt or a chain can be a deciding factor. For belt-driven engines, always ask when the belt was last replaced and if there's proof of the work. If the seller can't provide documentation, factor the cost of a replacement into your budget right away. For chain-driven engines, listen for any rattling or ticking noises at startup which can be a sign of chain wear or tensioner problems. A quiet, smooth start usually means the chain is in good health. At the end of the day, both timing belts and timing chains are simply two different ways of solving the same engineering challenge. Belts are lighter, quieter, and cheaper, but need periodic replacement. Chains are heavier, noisier, and more expensive to repair but often lasts the life of the car. Your choice really comes down to personal preference, your driving style, and how you approach vehicle maintenance. Whichever system your car uses, the most important thing you can do is follow the manufacturer's maintenance recommendations, because when it comes to the timing system, one truth applies to both belts and chains. Ignore it, and it will cost you big time. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.